Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to add in a few more things to finish off our grenade. Um, the only thing we're not going to be adding in is damage. That's because I want to wait until we've got some AI to test these, these things on. Um, but until then, let's uh, begin. I want to add in some sound for the grenade as well as all the functionality for ammo and grenade pickups. Um, so we're going to look at doing a... Um, sound cue which is here we'll call this um, grenade bounce cue uh, open it up and from the content draw drag in I've, I've downloaded these two bounce sounds um, like so click on uh, the random node add that in and plug it into our output. On the output, we want to um, we want to override our uh, attenuation. I'm not going to mess around with these figures too much, but basically, uh, if we're in the inner radius, it will play loud and clear, and it will fall off to about three thousand six hundred until. Um, it completely you don't hear it anymore so save that and we'll pull that in over here for a second um, and we want to so what this by the way this will just be a bounce so let me just it doesn't sound very loud but um, we'll we'll hear that when we throw a grenade and it hits something we'll, we'll deal with that inside the grenade BP so next, what we want to do is we kind of, uh, before I move on, I just want to say I added in that set capsule half height for the, the crouch. It, it's nothing crazy. I did already tell you guys to do that in the crouch, but I've added it in there as well. So uh, this is where we throw our grenades, and this is where I want to minus off one of our grenades. Now, before we even throw a grenade... Uh, now we don't we just also want to make sure we have enough grenades right so put in a branch uh, come down find our wherever our grenades are get that um, primary grenade no we want to get our current grenade and we also want to get our secondary grenade this is gonna get a little bit crazy but just trust me here so we want to check if our P grenade is active. Um, and if that's true, we want to go into two separate branches. So the true goes up here and the false goes up here. Okay, we then want to get uh, a is equal or less no, we'll probably just do equal because we're only going to drop it by one, I guess. So is this equal to zero? Okay, and we want to copy and paste that for down here as well. Uh, and we want to do exactly the same thing. We want to check if that secondary grenade is zero. Okay. Now, if it's true, we don't want to do anything. We, you could print string it to say, you know, you're out of grenades. But for this, we just want to set the false. So if we, if we say it's not equal to zero, we want it to run into this branch here, both of them, okay? Just like that, all right? Uh, you can tidy it up a bit if you want. Like so. Okay, but we are just checking to see if both of those are set to zero. And if they are, it won't do anything, okay? It'll just um, it'll just carry on, okay? So we're checking to see if it's G. It's going to check if it's the primary grenade. If it's the primary grenade, it'll do the check for the primary grenade. If it's false, it's not the primary grenade. It must be the secondary grenade, and it will go down the false and go into here. And if both of those are not equal to zero, so it must mean it's higher, it will um, carry on down the line. And if it's not, it'll do nothing because it thinks we have no grenades. Uh, and now what we want to do is we want to get our um, current. 
Now we don't have to do anything with the maxes on at this point. Um, it's going to be the same as the ammo. So grab both of these off. Okay, we're going to do exactly the same thing um, as we did here. Okay, we're going to get we're going to check to see if it's our primary grenade active. Um, so we'll need a couple of branches. Okay. So and this can all all of this can connect straight into this branch, all three of them, because it's all going to do exactly the same thing. Um, we're always going to be using a grenade if we have the grenade, irrelevant of whether we've got our pistol active or something else. And we want to check to see if that P grenade is active. If it is, we don't actually need the secondary branches, I don't believe, because all we're going to do is we are going to uh, minus off one from our current. Okay, so we're going to get our current. We're going to uh, uh, sorry, we're going to get our. Uh, it doesn't matter actually because we're going to we're going to do it for both. Minus off one, not ten, just one, uh, and then we want to set our current grenade. Okay, that's all we need to do, and that should now cover any uh, ammunition bits um, for grenades um, when we use it. Okay. And the last thing we probably want to do on this, uh, there's, well, I'd say, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do in this episode, but um, these are the main things I want to do. And the next thing is um, just finish off by getting a pickup made up so that we can grab extra grenades when we need them. Okay, so that should all work perfectly fine. I'm just going to quickly test it. So we're already set to four. If I throw a grenade, it sets to three. Let it blow up change grenade throw a blue one it goes down to three okay and then we've got our ammo there as well so it's all working very much fine at this point i will I, as we go down the line i'll tweak certain things but for now that's working fine we have a grenade um system set up there it's a little bit messy a little bit spaghetti code but that's kind of how i work i love a bit of spaghetti code you can neaten yours up to um work a little bit more efficiently than mine so the last thing we need to do now um, is just find wherever our grenade is. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where did I set up? Did I leave it in the uh, FPS weapons? I think I did. Mesh uh, grenade. It, it is in here. So there's obviously a couple of things I want to do with the sound. And we also need an ammo pickup. Right. Let's do the sound and stuff first. So all I need to do is open it. Now, one of the easiest fixes for this, this is where the damage will take place when I add the damage in uh, and start working on all of the AI damage and the player damage and things like that. This is where the grenade explosion damage will call to our third person character like we have done and we will um, get the damage and, and set it in here for our player. And obviously, of course, we'll do it for our um, uh, AI. The simplest way if you want to set that up now is just to add a collision, a spherical collision, make it very large uh, and anything within that radius will get taken damage. So if I was going to do it for the player, I'd cast a third person player, get that, um, set it to within grenade range or set grenade range as a boolean and then just um, have it so that if the player is in there, set it to true and when it detonates, do the damage um, with a branch. That's the quickest and easiest way of doing that. But for now, all I want to do is when it blows up, I just want to um, play uh, sound at location. Uh, and that sound is going to be, uh, that comes with an explosion sound. So, now that would be cool for the blue grenade. So we're going to set this for our red grenade, that is our red grenade, I'm pretty sure. Um, not sure now, no, I've said that. Uh, S grenade active, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll set this to be uh, the sci fi sound just because I think that would be kind of cool. Now, uh, let's do this explosive sound. That sounds kind of cool. All right, we'll go for that one. Uh, so that's the sound setup for that. Now I want to get um, a hit event. Event hit. Um, and 
We want to call a couple of things here and it should be set up very quickly. So we want to get uh, a do once, like so, um, because we don't want that bounce sound um, to uh, constantly play, it'll sound horrendous. So we just want to um, grenade Q, where is it? Where's the one we set up? Let's find it. And we'll just drag it in. Um, it being sounds. Yeah, there we go. And grenade bounce Q. There we go. So that'll play randomly one of those two sounds. Uh, then we want to just delay it. So the reason for the delay is um, when it hits the ground, if I don't have a delay, it's just going to go where it's like, for even if it's just a millisecond, it's just going to keep repeating that sound until it rebounces off the ground for a few seconds. So by setting it to 0 0.15, you're going to get yourself um, slightly less of that return sound playing constantly. But obviously, set it to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be 0 0.5. You can set it to 2 or 1 or whatever, you know. Uh, but you'll find that it'll bounce and not play a sound sometimes if it's too high. Um, and then we want the hit location to go in to there. So that every time this uh, recognizes a hit, it'll play that sound to that location. Uh, and with that uh, attenuation sound uh, location limit thing we've put in, we should automatically get the sound not being too loud and things like that. So let's um, give it a go. Well, there's the explosion sound. So I figured out where the issue was. This was fine. Everything set up from this is fine. But what was happening was, is it was trying to generate an event hit from a physics actor that wasn't set as a physics actor. So that event hit I assumed came from the mesh. It does not. Although that is already set to a physics actor, the sphere must also be set to a physics actor. Otherwise, it will not generate the sound. But as you can see, the end result here. There you go. And it, you can hear it. It kind of sounds a bit much So for me. But I'm going to just change um, this to maybe 0 0.2. Um, oh. So let's give it another toss. There you go, you can just hear it roll, it doesn't roll too aggressively, and it does sound pretty good. So there's that, that's the uh, the Q sound done. And the last thing I want to do in today's episode is now just set up uh, the uh, grenade pickup. So if we go to the content, and this is gonna be very similar to the um, other ammunitions we've set up. So we've got our pistol ammo, our rifle ammo. Um, to be honest, I'm probably just gonna copy this. I'm gonna duplicate it and call this, uh, let's call this, I'm just gonna set up the red grenade. I'll do the blue grenade off camera because it's gonna be exactly the same. Uh, grenade, red grenade. And let's change everything. So this can be now, uh, let's find our red. Uh, or let's just type in grenade. Ah, okay, so we haven't actually set up a static mesh for the grenades yet. So I'm just going to set this up to a normal grenade and I'll change it later. But this will all affect our red grenade. Um, okay, so we're testing that. That's all going to be fine. We don't need to change anything about that. We just need to change these figures, basically. So... We want to check if, so if we're making this for the red grenade, that's our primary grenade. So PG uh, max, is that equal to our PG current? So that's just gonna check if our current amount is same as our, um, our maximum, which is five. So when we start the game, we only start with four. So we'll just say reserve is full. Um, we'll need a grenade 
That's probably fine. Ammo pickup, that's fine. Um, and then we want to... So ours is pretty... Actually, we probably don't need a lot of this, thinking about it. Because we don't have, like... Um, we don't want to ch change the sheer amount of pickups we're doing. We only want to do uh, add one, right? So if it's equal to equal, it'll do nothing. It'll just say the reserve's full. Uh, and then we just need to do a pickup sound and get our current. Uh, we want to get, get S, we want to set it. Then we set our PG. Oh, sorry, it's because I'm pulling that function from our third person character. Uh, set primary grenade current. Uh, and all we want to do is um, get PG and add one to it. Uh, like so. And once that's added, we can then just destroy actor, like so. Um, that's fine, that should all work now, so we can pull, uh, I know it's green, but it will uh, affect our red ammo. Where is it? I can't even see it. Where is it? It's so small. There you go. Okay, and if we press play, we go up, we do our pickup. There we go, we've got it, and we've now got five grains. There we go, and if I just, for argument's sake, put two out there, I'd make the boxes maybe a little bit bigger, potentially, uh, because obviously it did struggle to pick up uh, what we were looking for. But uh, E, we've got five, and it should come up saying reserve full. There we go. And that works for the red grenades, just obviously make two new static meshes, change our colors to the same colors as um, our red and blue grenades or whatever grenades you're using make sure you've got a static mesh and a skeletal mesh and then just put those in place of those and obviously create a second blue one as well or whatever again whatever grenades you're making uh, and that will work absolutely fine because again because we don't have multiples of the same grenade now you could do it that you have three separate skeletal uh, three separate static meshes in the scene like three like a bunch of three grenades and when you pick one up out of that box, it just deletes one. Uh, you could do that. Um, but overall, this system also works. It just means that if you have multiple grenades, you've just got to be careful about placement. Um, but if you do the three bunches or the two bunches, for example, you can place them in the world a little bit better. And as they pick them up, if they need two, they can take two uh, or three or whatever. And when the, the three are depleted and gone, you can then just destroy the actor then. Um, but play around with it. Um, but let me know what you think. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a little like and a comment uh, of any tutorials you want to see. And don't forget to hit that sub button, guys. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.